Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of all saints, pray for us. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Today's theme is selected from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 16. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. This was one of the high priority topics for Paul, Pope Paul VI and Pope John Paul II. Both of them have extensively exhorted and exhorted the faithful and written encyclicals to highlight the urgency of evangelization and the role of Catholics in sharing the gospel to the unreached. Before we start declaring this verse seven times in faith, I would like to share few data which emphasize the extreme urgency on why we need to move on evangelization with a war footing basis. Today, the population across the world is pegged at 7.6 billion people across five continents and majority of this population is concentrated in the Asian continent. This means every four, every second, four babies are born in this world, which is around 3,60,000 babies per day. While it is a joy to know that the new life is born, there are also people leaving this earth in a quick manner. Every second, two people die in this world, which takes the count to 1,50,000 people dying every day. Now, the next slide is a very important information. Out of 1,50,000 people who die, nearly 30% of them die without hearing about Jesus Christ, which is 46,000 people die every day without even heard about Jesus Christ. The Bible teaches us that there is no other name given under the earth or under heaven on earth other than the name of Jesus for man's salvation. Have we ever thought of what happens to those people who die without hearing about Jesus? 2.1 billion people still in the world have not yet heard about Jesus or rather they've been denied to hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ. My question to you is, does it really bother us today? There was a recent article which mentions why so many Catholics are uninterested about sharing the riches of their faith and they found because they have not understood the faith that they have embraced. Let us pray that there might be a powerful stirring of the Holy Spirit in our hearts, that each one of us are chosen to be an active laborer in God's kingdom. I remember an instance which happened about four years ago. One day I received a call from a priest from the Logos Retreat Center in Bangalore. He asked me if I could come and preach for a session in one of the retreats happening there. My immediate answer that came to my mind was a no. But I told him I will get back to him. I was sure in my mind that I would not go to preach. 
As I was pondering on this, I received a strong message in my mind from 1 Corinthians 9.16 which says, Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. I immediately called up father and told him that I will be there for ne ne I'll be there next week for the retreat. After my session, he asked me if I, I could commit coming there every week for four months and without any hesitations, I, hesitation, I said yes. Friends, that was the beginning of a new life for me in my ministry and in my career. Lord used me to sow the seed in the lives of hundreds of people. Today, when I look back, the decision that I took with hesitation turned out to be one of the best and satisfying decisions that I have taken in my life. Sharing the gospel is not an option for a Catholic. It is a responsibility and commandment from Jesus. As Jesus said in the gospel of Mark, go unto the whole world and preach the gospel to the all creations. Friends, let us pray for the thirst to share the gospel with those who have not yet heard. There are hundreds of people around us where we have opportunities every day to share the gospel. Today, let us pray that the Holy Spirit may stir our hearts. The Holy Spirit may convict us that this good news should not be kept only to ourselves, but to be shared with those who have not yet heard. Let us thank the Lord for hearing our prayer and filling us with the seal of evangelization. Let us uh, remain muted. Claim this word from 1 Corinthians 9.16. For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9.16. For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9.16 says, For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9.16 For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9.16 For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9.16 For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9.16 For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. Friends, today's uh, Holy Mass is offered by Father Pius Pereira for all the intentions of uh, missionaries of prayer. Let us offer uh, and pray, uh, offer Father Pius uh, in the Holy Eucharist and also pray for him, for his ministry and for his studies. He is doing his PhD. Let us pray that the Spirit of the Lord may lead and guide him and strengthen him to continue his mission on earth. Today's uh, Holy Rosary is led by uh, mother and three children, Manchu, Ria, Chris and Jake. So let us begin the rosary in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, daughter of the eternal Father, strengthen our faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hey, Holy Mary, Mother of the Beloved Son, increase our hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, radiant temple of the Holy Spirit, deepen our love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The first uh, sorrowful mystery, agony of Jesus in the garden. In this decade, we pray for marriages. In the Gospel of Mark, Jesus calls 12 of his disciples and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. We see a similar action in the Gospel of Luke where the Lord appoints 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. In both these verses, and even in the other stories in the Bible, we see the significance of two people coming together for a cause. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus tells, if two people agree upon one thing and pray, it will be granted. Word of God explains powerful impact when two people come together and do something in the kingdom of God. In this context, when we look at Christian married couple, we can see they are the most powerful team that Lord has put on the planet Earth. Many of us don't realize this and struggle in our relationships. The greatest motivation of Christian evangelism is love and the married couple soaked in love make a perfect team to take the last mandate of Jesus which is sharing the gospel with others. Even we Christians don't re realize it or understand it. The devil knows it very well. That is why Our Lady revealed to Blessed Sister Lucia that the final battle of Satan will be against marriages and families. In the Acts of the Apostles, we see a wonderful couple, Aquila and Priscilla, who led an exemplary lifestyle and risked their lives for the sake of the gospel. We have many such examples in the church today. So let us pray for a breakthrough in the Christian marriages, that through our prayer, the blindness that the devil has put in the lives of the couples may be destroyed, that they may discover the beauty of godly marriage and lead a life witnessing to others. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us in the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Pray for us. The second uh, sorrowful mystery, scourging at the pillar. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. I have shared this story before, but wanted to share it again. Story of a father who stood for the cause of evangelism and how his sacrifice moved the hearts of thousands of non-Christians who accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Two years ago, I had the privilege of being with Abraham, my colleague, I've changed the name, for a week, and that is how I got to know the story. Abraham was a hardcore Muslim before he became a Christian. He has two sons, one daughter and whose two children, one daughter and one son. After he accepted Christ, he started a church in his town and the church is located among 40 mosques in that city and this country is a hardcore fundamental Muslim country. After he started the church, a lot of Muslims from the locality started coming to this prayer service. This irritated the fanatic leaders of the community. So they asked Abraham to shut down his church and he did not listen to them. They threatened him but he would not give in to their threats. Finally, one day, some of these fanatic men walked into Abraham's house with a gun and shot dead his holy daughter, thinking that he will close his church and run away from this place. Later, the killers of his daughter were caught by the police and were brought before the judge. As per the law of the land, if you kill someone, you will be killed unless the victim's family forgives them. So the judge asked Abraham, what shall I do with your daughter's killers? That was a big question in front of Abraham. From a, world, from a worldly sense, it was an irrelevant question. But for Abraham, that question changed the history of his land. He heard the voice of God deep in his heart, asking him to forgive the accused. So he told the judge, in the name of Jesus, I forgive my daughter's killers. Based on what he said, the judge acquitted the killers and they escaped the gallows. The story does not end there. Six months after this incident, the number of people who visited his church is more than the number of people who visited all the 40 mosques put together in that region. There was a revival in the land. Hundreds and thousands of people came to know about Christ because there was a man like our father Abraham who was willing to sacrifice his only son Isaac because he was obedient to God. Today let us pray for the fathers and mothers who are a part, who are attending this, uh, this uh, rosary and mothers and fathers whom we know who struggle to be obedient to the word of God the last commandment of God, to go and share the gospel with the unreached. Let us pray that the Spirit of the Lord may move their hearts today and we become a powerful witness 
for Christ in this world. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning of thorns. In this decade, we will pray for children. Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew, Let the children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. The family has an invaluable role in passing on the faith in a joyful and bold manner to the children. The family is the first school of evangelization where children learn to practice and share with others the grace and light of Christ. Dominic Savio was an Italian adolescent, the only person of his age group who was declared saint not on the basis of having been a martyr but on the basis of having lived what was seen as a holy life. Dominic realized that part of becoming a saint was sharing his knowledge and awareness of God with his companions. On one occasion, two boys got into an argument and challenged each other to a rock duel, meaning to keep throwing sharp stones at each other to settle a score. This was a common this was a common practice among young thugs and street gangs in the, during that time. These fights usually end up with someone getting hurt and sometimes seriously hurt. It seems that one boy had insulted the family of the other and that is the reason they fought. The two boys became so enraged that the only way they could think of settling the affair was to fight with stones. Dominic Savio learned about the fight. He caught up with the boys and tried to talk them out of it, but they would not hear. Dominic followed them to the field where the fight was taking place. Dominic pleaded to both of them, asking them not to fight. One of the boys shouted, You cannot stop us, Dominic. And the other one yelled, Until I split his head open, I will not stop. 
both the boys were enraged and wanted to settle the scores by engaging themselves in the fight. Each had a pile of stones arranged at their feet. On the signal, they would begin to throw stones at each other until one gave up or was seriously injured. Dominic walked in middle of them and said, I am not stopping the fight between you, but I am asking you to accept one condition. To get Dominic out of the scene, both the boys agreed to the condition of Dominic and asked him what it is. Dominic took a small crucifix which he used to wear around his neck and held it up and said, before you start the fight, you must look at the crucifix and throw the first stone at me. Before you start the fight, you must look at this crucifix and throw the first stone at me. He went and knelt down in front of the most angry boy and told him, you start now. Taken by surprise, the boy began to tremble and he said, I can never do that. Dominic ran to the other boy and he too was astonished and assured Dominic that he was his friend and never meant to harm him. Dominic stood up, looking at them, he said with great emotion, Neither of you are re were ready to hurt me because I am your friend. Yet you wanted to commit the sin over a stupid remark made at school. Christ, who was innocent, died for us rather than seek revenge for those who hated him. Dominic stood silent, crucifix with crucifix in his hand. Both boys dropped their stones, ashamed before this courageous stand of Saint Dominic. Later, one of the boys admitted, saying, admitted and said this, All my determination broke down and a cold chill ran through me. I hated myself for having forced a good friend like Dominic to go such length to keep us from sin. To show my regret, I forgave the boy who had insulted me and asked Dominic to tell me some of good priest who would hear my confession. Dominic Xavier was a great example of how children can be trained at home to become saints. Let us thank the Lord for having started that training in our, in our children's life. And one of the initiatives that we have started in, with, with happy families is that we have started a Bible study for children. And we feel in the last 10 years of our ministry, this is the best investment, best thing that we can do for our children to train children in the word of God, to train them to build a house on the rock. Let us pray that the children may root their lives on the word and be a powerful witness when they live in this world. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, 
now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Mary, Queen of Rosaries, pray for us. The fourth the sorrowful mystery, carrying of the cross. We will pray for the church. We also pray for Jerome Barnabas, Nikita Maria Puneet, and Teresa Mary Abraham for God's wisdom and guidance in their lives. First 300 years of church history witnessed massive persecution of Christians. It is said over 1.2 crores of believers were martyred during that time because of their faith in Jesus. Believers were not willing to give up their faith. They walked into their death, into their death with astounding joy in their hearts. It was told during those times, every day in the church, they used to read out the names and life stories of those who gave up their lives for Christ and the martyrdom was celebrated with a lot of excitement. When you look at what drives a person to be a witness of Christ, I find two reasons. One, that deep, deep in their heart, they understood who Christ is for them. Number two, they decided to live for Christ, whatever it might cost them. I heard a story of a priest who went to North India as missionaries. They bought a place and built a church on a hilly area and started their mission work. From that time onwards, they were troubled by the people from Hindu outfits. Almost every day, these people come and create issues and would not allow these priests to do their mission work. It continued for some time and it came to a point whether they could not even can't do anything in that place and had to shut down. So before that, they decided to call an anointed priest from Divine Retreat Center, Kerala, Father Panekel. Father Panekel went there and he, they, he prayed with, prayed and told the priest this beautiful message. He said, there are two ways where people come to hear the gospel of Jesus. One, they come in love to hear the word because they love the word. They wanted to hear the word. Secondly, people come in hatred and anger to hear the word. And you cannot stop sharing the word of Christ to both these people. You must share even if people come to you in anger and hatred. They are only coming there to share, to hear the word of God. And these priests understood this message. And very sincerely, they started praying for those people who were troubling them. Every day, they used to take sacrifice and pray for those who were troubling them. After a few days, when these people approached the church again, they came to the church to trouble this priest. And they were shocked to see the entire church was covered with a cloud from the sky and they could not move forward. From that day onwards, they say these people stopped troubling this priest and they continued their mission work. God has his way of working in the lives of people. Let us thank God for all the missionaries around the world sharing the gospel of Jesus to the unreached. Let us also pray for the unity of denominations. Instead of fighting with each other, let the Christians be united together and share, the, and share the message of Jesus to the people who have not yet heard the gospel. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in of their mercy. Mary, Queen of Rosaries, pray for us. The fifth the sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus. In this uh, decade, let us pray for all the intentions that we have received, that is received at uh, Missionaries of Prayer. We wanted to thank the Lord for, a for the huge harvest of souls that he, has, uh, that is, he is giving us. Lord, thank you for manifesting your power when we call out your name. Lord, we thank you for setting those who are in bondages free by when we call out your name. Thank you for healing us and filling us with your wisdom. Thank you for the courage and boldness that you have put in our hearts to share the good news with those who have not yet heard about you. Lord, we wanted to thank you for this beautiful gift uh, to learn your word and practicing it every day in our life. Lord, we thank you for uh, the Bible studies that are happening um, for adults and for the children. Lord, we thank you for Brother Johnson and JCL and team for their availability and willingness to support us. Lord, we want to thank you for, for every priest who are supporting us, all those who are offering the Holy Eucharist with intentions. Lord, for everything that, are, that you are doing in this ministry, doing in the lives of the people who are joining this uh, prayer, prayer service. Lord, we wanted to thank you and praise you and adore you. And we, uh, we glorify your name and we pray that you may stir the spirit, your spirit in our hearts, that we may never become lukewarm. We may never uh, be selfish. We, ne we may never uh, keep the message to ourselves, but share the good news that we have experienced to with those who have not yet heard your good news. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of their mercy. Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning, and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of, your, of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, I come at least spiritually into my heart. I, am, am, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of Heaven, have mercy on us. God, Son, Redeemer of the World, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother Most Pure. Pray for us. Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us. Mother Invalid. Pray for us. Mother Undefiled. Pray for us. Mother Most Amiable. Pray for us. Mother Most Admirable. Pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel. Pray for us. Mother of Our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of Our Savior. Pray for us. Mother of Mercy. Pray for us. Mother of Hope. Pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent. Pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable. Pray for us. Who is most renowned? Pray for us. Who is most powerful? Pray for us. Who is most merciful? Pray for us. Who is most faithful? Pray for us. Mirror of justice? Pray for us. Seat of wisdom? Pray for us. Cause of our joy? Pray for us. Spiritual vessel? Pray for us. Vessel of honor? Pray for us. Singular, singular vessel of devotion? Pray for us. Mystical rose? Pray for us. Tower of David? Pray for us. Tower of ivory? Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Comfort of migrants. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived with original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed in heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, 
that we may thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed virgin mary ever virgin be del delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal happiness through christ our lord amen we would like to thank uh, manju and vinod and their beautiful children chris raya and jake for leading us through this uh, rosary we pray that they may grow in the wisdom and love of god and one another may god use them powerfully as a family in his ministry so let us uh, bow down and the priestly blessing from father sony let us pray almighty ever living god give us the grace so to unite ourselves in faith with your only begotten son who underwent death and laid buried in the tomb that we may rise again in newness of life with him who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit and with your spirit may almighty god bless you all in the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen thank you father thank you father sony thank you